Let me show you how to stream mobile games on Twitch. First, we need to navigate to the App Store, whether that be iOS or Android. I'll be going over the differences later in this video, but we're gonna go into the store and look for an app called Prism Live, which also happens to be today's sponsor. I actually like the Prism app more than the Twitch mobile app because it allows us to do way more things. But once you've downloaded the app, you can go ahead and open it, and we're gonna log in with our Twitch account. So we'll click on Twitch, we'll put in our username and password, and make sure to connect Prism and Twitch. Then we're gonna grant the app permissions like the camera and microphone and storage, just so we can actually stream our games. Then we'll go ahead and allow everything. Once you open the app for the first time, you'll get put on the connect tab at the very bottom, which you can connect to QR code or your PC. But more importantly, we're gonna be going over the live tab, which is going to allow us to IRL stream with the camera as well as our games. Then at the bottom, you can also see there's a video and photo mode, which we aren't really gonna talk about. The live mode is gonna be the most important because we have the camera mode, which is for IRL streams, if you wanna use the front camera or back camera as indicated in the top. But if we click on the screencast option, it'll allow us to actually capture our screen and so we can stream our game. So for the Android app, it's gonna ask us to appear on top. So we'll just give that permission to the app. That way it can capture our game and everything we need to. It'll look different on iOS and might not ask for that, but I'll go over the differences. For the IRL camera section, you have access to all these different filters. So if you want, you can choose a banana's tape to your head. It's entirely up to you. But we're gonna be talking about the screencasting feature more. By the way, if you guys want more helpful streaming videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends them to you more. So we're gonna go to the screencasting feature and then if you want you can swipe left and it'll bring you up to all of these different choices now they have things like media playlists and text which are all good and great but I know most of you guys are going to be caring about the chat widget the most so if we go under widgets and we click on prism chat widget we can actually have our twitch chat appear over our game for Android unfortunately this feature isn't available for iOS because of software limitations but if you're on Android you can have the chat appear over your game while you're streaming so you can have the choice of having it on both screens or just your streaming screen I prefer both screens. You can have your messages disappear after a certain amount of time, which I do recommend. Otherwise, it'll clog your phone screen. You can also lock the layer, which just means that you're not going to move it around while you're streaming, which is nice when you're playing games. Then you have all the different font customization as well. At the very bottom, you can see we have four different styles. I recommend style number four because it has a background to it. That means you can actually see it over your game, so it's a lot easier to read. But then we're going to actually turn our phone sideways into landscape mode because I'm going to be playing a landscape mode game today, which is Angry Birds. So if you don't know how to do that, just go and make sure to turn your auto rotate on and then you turn it to landscape mode and then you can lock it because you don't want your rotation to change while you're actually streaming. Otherwise, it'll mess up the resolution of the stream. So now that we're in landscape mode, we can actually go and adjust that little chat there. So you can adjust the font size, you can adjust where it's at. And once you've adjusted that and you started your stream, it'll be locked there because we locked that layer. You can do this for iOS just to keep it there, but it won't show over your screencasting screen like Android does. However, the chat widget does work if you're doing an iOS stream with your camera so now we can click the button on the right which is that little movie clacker then on the bottom left we can set our destination which we're going to be connecting to twitch though a cool side note is that you can actually stream to your YouTube channel without having a thousand subscribers so that's actually a cool little way that you can grow your YouTube live streams is using this app but we're gonna be connecting our twitch account because that's the name of the video so we're gonna click connect we're gonna add our Twitch account right there and then we're gonna add our title and then our game which is below that and then next to the game category you can go and adjust the streaming settings you can change the resolution the video quality for the resolution I recommend staying at 720 but if you're lagging a lot I'd recommend dropping down to 480 or 360 video quality I recommend leaving on adaptive because if your connection changes then it'll drop frames instead of buffering out your stream like crazy for the bitrate I recommend keeping your bitrate at 2500 but if you want to experiment with bringing it higher in case you got a really good connection or lower if you don't you can feel free to do that FPS I recommend keeping it 30 and the keyframe intervals I'd keep it too now please excuse this videography this is the only way that I was able to capture the streaming process of of the screen because I can't double screen record. So what I'm doing here is just I'm making sure that I have my chat where I want it to before I start my stream because this will be appearing over my game since I'm on Android. Now I'm going to click that little live button and then I'm going to hit the yellow button to actually go live. And for Android, we're going to click start now and I'll go over the iOS process in just a second, but we're going to quickly go over to our game and you can see since we're on Android, we have this nice little overlay that we can actually move around if we'd like, but you can see we can click on it and we can turn our game audio on and off. We can turn the microphone on and off. We can turn turn our chat room on and off, which is in the bottom left corner. And then next to that, we have the option to use an actual face cam, which is the first time I've ever seen this because it's not used in the Twitch app, which is awesome because now we can have our face camera. We can have our chat. We can have everything we want for a simple mobile stream for Android. That's why I personally like the Prism app more than the Twitch app for Android. Then you just play your game as normal and you're streaming great, but you can go back to the Prism app and this is where you're able to send actual chat messages. If you click the little chat bubble at the bottom and then you can go and type and send messages 
is there. And then when you're ready to end your live stream, you can click the end button in the top right corner. It'll end your broadcast. Then you can see how long it was and save it if you'd like. Now, if you're on the iOS version of the app, you can click that yellow button and then you have to decide whether you want your microphone on or off before you start the stream. I couldn't find a way to toggle it just because it uses an iOS replay kit and does a lot of stuff that goes way over my head. So decide if you want the microphone on or off before you start streaming. Then you can click the start broadcast option, go to your game. But unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see that cool little overlay widget like we had for Android, which means you're just going to be able to stream your game, your microphone and your game audio. Now, this app is always working on different updates to make it better. So I'll leave any changes in the pinned comment down below. But you can also go back to your prism map and that's where you're going to be able to read and send your messages in chat. And then when you're done, you can click the end button as well. Now, just to show you what it looks like on your actual Twitch page when you go live, if you're playing in landscape mode on Android, this is what it's going to look like because we have the full screen in landscape mode. But you can also see that fancy little overlay in the top left because it's capturing everything on our screen. But then you're good and streaming on Twitch. So watch these videos to the side of me to improve your stream. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.